Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You use formulas to perform mathematical functions on cells. There are two basic ways of writing formulas available, a ranged syntax or a simple syntax. A syntax is simply a way of expressing or writing something. It's important to note that these two syntaxes are not mutually exclusive. In fact, your more complex formulas will often incorporate elements of both in order to arrive at the desired result. Typically, you will use the simple syntax to perform multiple mathematical calculations on multiple cells, and you use the range syntax to perform a single mathematical function over multiple cells. To write a formula, you first click into the cell where you want the results of the formula to appear. Next, you write your formula, and when you're finished, you exit the cell to display the answer to the formula that you wrote. And once again, this is going to be the concept of content versus display at work. The actual content of the cell will be the formula, but the cell will display the answer to the formula. If you click into the formula cell after it's been created, you'll see the actual formula displayed in the formula bar and the answer displayed in the worksheet. So if we made a simple sum function. And let's say we just added all of these. Note that when you select the formula after it's been created, you can see the actual formula in the formula bar and the answer in the worksheet. Note that you can press the control key and the single left quote mark key to toggle the worksheet display between the actual content and the displayed result. When creating ranged syntax formulas, once again you start by just selecting the cell into which you wish to enter the formula, and then begin by typing an equal sign. Formulas always start with an equal sign, and this prevents Excel from interpreting the formula as being a simple text entry, since formulas are really just letter-number combinations. Next, just type the name of the function which you wish to perform on the cell range or cell ranges. Then type an open parenthesis. Next, input the cell range or cell ranges upon which you wish to perform the function, and you can type them in, or you can just click and drag over them with your mouse. Then finally, just type a closed parenthesis, and exit the cell using your keyboard, or just click the green check mark button in the formula bar to set the formula. Note that you don't use spaces between elements in the formula. However, they're not case sensitive. Now, creating a simple formula is like writing a standard math problem. Once again, you start by selecting the cell where you want to enter the formula, and type an equal sign. Next, type the cell addresses that you want to use in the formula, joined together with your standard mathematical operators. You can also enter standard numbers into a formula if desired, however, you'll more often want to manipulate the values of the cells, which may change, and th thus you'll more commonly use cell references instead. If you want to perform a single calculation on a range of cells, it's just usually easier to create a ranged formula instead of a simple formula. And you can see why. Because that's a lot of typing just to add b1 through b5. So if I just typed equal sum, open parenthesis, b1 colon b5, close parenthesis, that's a lot less typing for a simple function. Now, one thing to note about simple syntax is that the standard order of operations applies. Designated operations are performed from left to right, with anything in parentheses being calculated first, then exponentiation, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. And also note that you can use both syntaxes within a single formula. For example, if you wanted to sum the first 10 cells in column A, and then subtract from that value the sum of the first 10 cells in column B. Then you could express it as a single combined formula, such as equals sum 
open parenthesis, A1 through A10, close parenthesis, minus sum, open parenthesis, B1 through B10, close parenthesis. In this case, you're using a simple syntax formula to subtract the values derived from two ranged syntax formulas. Most of the more complex formulas that you will create will incorporate both syntaxes in order to derive the answer. Now, formulas that use cell references will automatically be recalculated when you enter or change the values in the cells referenced by the formula. This is one of the best features of Excel and one of the reasons that you'll rarely find numbers directly entered into a formula as those wouldn't be updated in the way that you can easily change a cell value. Now when you use the cell addresses and formulas, remember that you can either type them or use the mouse to select the cell or cell ranges that you want to insert. And as always, when you're finished writing your formulas, make sure you leave the cell in order to save the formula and display the answer. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!